okay, now I'm going to do the real pop up. This is kind of a serpent thing, which I really don't know how to do. <laughs> I just learned this, but it's helpful even after day one. So I've got my loops a little bit lower. It's just about knee height. Lower if you really want to work hard. Again, I'm going to step through. You can often come forward in this exercise with your arms and your body and come into it and then kind of crawl back. That's an easy way in. Okay. The idea is I want to be as close to parallel to the ground as possible with my hips almost on the ground. But if you're too low, then you don't have any pull from the loops, and these, these do help. So what I want to do is I want to be under my center point. So if I'm out here, just let yourself go and come back to center point. I'm going to slide my hands under my chest, and I'm going to come on down, I'm going to have my toes curled, and my butt in the air. There we go. All right, first one I'm going to do, they call the chicken wing. So I'm going to bring my knee up to the side, and I'm going to put my toe in. And that's going to allow me to lift up on my chest, I'm going to show you in slow-mo. And then I'm going to bring this foot around, and then I'm standing up on my board, catching a wave. All right, coming out of it, arms straddle, and down. Hands under your chest. Let's try that on the other side. Chicken wing, push, up, lift, all the way if you want to, and come on down, and good. So let's do it a little bit faster. Chicken wing. for me. All right, now I'm going to do a regular one. So I'm going to come back down and I'm going to jump both of those feet up at the same time. I hope I do. Here we go. <laughs> up from the chest. Boom. There it is. Up. I did it to the left. Okay to put your hand inside the leg every once in a while. Creativity. 